Hello, Greybeard here. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to, uh, first of all, I'll see if this, uh, yeah. I wanted to show you a cool little upgrade. It's very inexpensive. I got the two strips of this uh, 4 by 11 I think it is. You can get them different sizes for different sized car emblems, like if you have a Ford with a blue oval, because these newer ones are getting bigger and bigger. And this one's the older ones, and I, I cut this one down to size. But uh, I'm gonna wrap the bow tie. And it usually works pretty good, and it's, I can show you on my HHR. I put one on there five years ago or so. As far as I can tell, it still looks pretty good. Now if I can just get this uh, paper off the back, I can uh, slap it on there. I already cleaned it off. I rubbed it down real good with some Windex. It should be good and dry. Now on these older bow ties, I'll show you something on them. It kind of curves around. So when you do the wrap, you have to kind of curve it around inside there and then cut it off. Where the newer ones are just flat. Uh, they don't have as much dimension to them as the old ones. But, and they're a lot easier. So all you gotta do is lay it on a flat surface. And I'm hoping this will work. It may not work as good on this. Cause it's got kind of a tinny feel to it. It's got to have a little extra on each end. And I just, this is how I've done it. This will be my second one. There's a little tiny bump there. I think it's where it's like a defect in the, uh, not a defect, but a, like a scratch in the bow tie itself. The bow tie itself is plastic. But I always think a bow tie should be blue. I'm trying to just try to work it down in there like that right there. Yeah, this one may not work as good because of the it's kind of tinny. The other kind I got, I'll show you on my HHR. Uh, <clears throat> I guess I could have showed you on the back side, but here's the uh, front side. I did it, and it's, uh, it's got bug guts on it. Did it in carbon fiber. It even has like a little. It's trying to come off on the it, it corners there, but it's still. I mean, you really gotta walk up on it to really notice it. But yeah, it's been on there for five years. Been through a lot of weather and a lot of driving. This in here is brand new. He's brand new. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to, like I say, this may not, if you look, you can see where it's kind of tinny looking. This may have been a bad, uh, it's even metal looking on the, uh, cause it's got that metal look. Uh, you can even hear it, it sounds crinkly like tin. I may have to switch to a different kind, but uh, yeah, it's not really wanting to work with me over here. But let's start cutting. I'm okay with it. Like I say, when you cut, especially on these older ones, you want it to be able to wrap around there. So, you, you know, you, you got like a, uh, a groove there. You gotta, uh, I'll go more away from the bow tie itself to the edge of the, the outer edge of the groove when I go to cutting. Let me make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. Uh, thing looked like it was leaning. There we go. I hope you can see real well. I'm gonna go ahead and make another cut right here. Like I say, I always cut toward the outer side of the groove. And then, just keep 
carefully. Kind of ride that outer side edge of the groove. And then, I might have messed it up here where, where it's tinny. Won't be noticed on a galloping horse though. tucked in there. Where's Tinny at? It'd be perfect for a flat bow tie. And in the uh, little uh, sales page or whatever you want to call it for uh, Amazon, it was shown on a flat bow tie. I may, have, may should have uh, took it as a, a sign. You can get an X-Acto knife. I just use this. It's a razor blade. You just rub it around there. I'm using my fingernail going around the, the edge of it. Gives it a new look though, compared to, uh, see. I even tried to go around the edge and there's a little bit of a crease there. You could tell when I pulled the camera up to it. But uh, there's different kinds. You can get the, the carbon fiber looking stuff. Or My suggestion, especially if you have an old, older bow tie, is don't do like me and jump right on something because you like the color. Get something you know is pliable. And... Uh, Old bugs flying around. Oh. Dang it. There we go. I hope I didn't go too far out there. close up on, on the corner of the bow tie but the cool thing is I got another one just in case I mess it up because there's no big bow tie like this on the back I have thought about getting one off of uh, see this. I was about to mess it up I didn't cut that one yeah there you go there we go and it sticks good. It does stick good for the most part. Make sure up. Uh, now make sure your cuts are all good, all you know, where they meet up to each other. I ain't done sticking her down yet. But uh She good and sticky. There you go. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be perfect. Yeah, this is tinny. I suggest not getting that stuff unless you got a flat bow tie. If you got a flat bow tie, it's just fine. But, she's a good 20 footer. I'll show you where I messed up. And it's where I <coughs> cut it and didn't have it stuck good that one little crease right there too don't want to I'm going to probably do this again later redo it but I'm going to get a different kind I like that look though it's like a metallic blue but here's where I messed up where I uh, was pulling it off I didn't have it cut good up to that corner you gotta make sure your cuts are good all the way around I had it all the way around except for uh, 
I think I cut a little too close there. Either that or it's split where it's tinny. Yeah, don't get this kind. You want something, this tinny stuff. It looks good. Now, if you're going to do it on something flat, it's great. But if you're going to do it on something, you got to curve around. Especially like a bow tie with multi, multiple sides to it. It wants to uh, fold over at the corners instead of be pliable and stick down and stuff. Yeah, the uh, the other I had some left over from the HHR, but I've moved since, and I have no clue where it's at right now. If I find it, I'll do another one and show you how much easier that other style, you know, where it ain't tinny. I mean, it looks cool. Got a chrome look to it almost. But, uh, like I say, you have to get literally right up on it to see it. You can see these little, little, I don't know. It's where, I, where, where it's tinny. It don't want to flex and move with you you know what i mean know what i mean burn yeah but other than that looks pretty cool kind of matches the paint that's that's what i was thinking i said i just about match that going i mean it really tie in good you know not perfectly matched but it'll tie in good i'm gonna uh i got some equipment coming see it that's a dent i don't know if you can it comes up good yeah yeah that comes out good on the camera plus all these little hail dents i got something coming for that i'm not thinking it'll bring it out 100 but it'll make them a whole lot less noticeable got them across the top i want to bring some stuff for that uh i kind of messed it up i was trying to pop it out myself sometimes of course, this is right here at a curve. Sometimes you can pop the edge and it'll pop it out. I don't know how that happened. I come back from a vacation where I went to go get this truck. That's the only reason why I took the vacation so I could go pick up that truck. And uh, <coughs> uh, when I come back, I noticed that dent. I don't know if it happened before I left or not. I just noticed it after I come back. <coughs> but that's just how quick that is. Uh, actually, I took a lot longer on this video than I needed to for it. But yeah, it only takes a couple minutes. When I'm filming and stuff, sometimes I go into explanations and stuff. And But I think it looks pretty cool. And it's not perfect, but uh, I can get a, a, a blue similar to that without having to go with the metallic type backing. See, I'd say this is like a dual layer. It's got like plastic on the front with a tin in the back to give it that metallic look. And, uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, bow ties used to be blue anyway. Not that exact color of blue, but they were blue. Now I gotta find my clicker. But anyways, I hope you liked the video. You yeah, see, here's the back one. This stuff here, it, it, it's more pliable. Now, this started splitting over in the corners. It wasn't like it to start with. And I messed up the corner on that. That was my bad on that too. But uh, yeah, uh, when this stuff's fresh, like I say, it's been on here for five years. Oh, it's in my pocket. Anyways, this clicker, I think I might need to get battery for it. Anyways, yeah, it's that easy though. And it's like I say, it'd be easy and e even easier than what I did. Uh, if you get the, the just the vinyl, don't get the tinny back stuff unless you have a flat bow tie. If you have the flat bow tie, it just has a the, the little ridge in the corner and then it's just flat. The newer one's like 2011 or so and up. Yeah, it's great for that. But any of these older ones that has the bevels, you need a, a vinyl. <coughs> but again, hopefully you liked the video, subscribe and uh share the video and uh yeah, hit like if you like the video <laughs> enjoy